in order to be successful connecting these spheres, we gotta connect the four tips of the rods first one millimeter at the same time and then push the mold to get them completely inside. Before you connect the four spheres which are close to the central sphere, you gotta connect the four rods that come out from the four sides of the central sphere. Remember these four rods are parallel to the table surface. So let's see how I put this sphere connecting these five rods. First, we're going to connect this parallel rod to the table. Remember, connect the next four tip of the rods into the holes of the sphere, just one millimeter, just a few, and then push them all to get them inside completely at this part of the construction don't connect them inside completely one by one because it's a mistake and then just do adjustments in the whole structure if necessary it could happen to you that some of the tip of the rods come out from the holes of the spheres but don't worry about it just connect them again so as you can see I am doing some adjustments here with the tip of the rods uh, that come out from the holes of the sun spheres it just happened to me because I started to connect one by one completely and the main idea is to connect the four tips of the rods at the same time just one millimeter and then push them all at the same time yes and get them inside completely Here we got the five sphere or nodes very well connected at the top of the structure. As you can observe, we got five small pyramids and the five spheres or nodes are the top of these ones. So remember, take it easy, take your time, just be patient. But if you break some rods, don't worry about it. We got some extra rods in the box. So let's connect these eight uh, rods, which I am pointing up. As you can see, they come out from the sides of the four spheres. They are parallel to the table surface. We are going to connect this sphere as I did on these ones. Remember to connect the tip of the rods very well into the holes of the spheres. So let's start getting the four hold face sphere position just turn it around 180 degrees and just do the connections with these two parallel rods to the table and then we gotta connect the, the three the rest of the rods at once I mean just connect the three rods at the same time just one millimeter don't connect them completely one by one because it is a mistake it's gonna you're gonna be in trouble just pay attention what i'm doing these two rods that i'm connecting are perpendicular lines watch they are getting in perfectly now we're going to connect the rest of the rods 
just one millimeter at the same time just one by one but not completely and then push them all for getting them inside completely but first one by one one millimeter no more So at this point of the making of the star, the structure, you gotta be patient, you gotta take your time because we got a lot of connections in just one sphere. We got five connections at the same time, remember that. And we gotta do it uh, very uh, slightly and slow, remember, don't hurry up. So remember that I am just giving to you some advices in order to be successful in making the 64 star tetrahedron, the geometry of the backing. So you can find your own ways to get in it very well. So where I am pointing at, I am going to connect the next three spheres doing the same process as we did previously, rotating the structure. So we're going to take these eight holes spheres, matching this uh, four holes sphere face position, just turning around 180 degrees and do this four connection. OK. So now we have eight spheres in this small bag with three holes in each one. So we're going to use them in the four corners of the cube here, another one here, here, and another one here. And when you get it, you are going to turn around the star and do the same process to complete the star, you know, and put the rest of these four, three holes spheres in the rest of the corners, you know, which are eight corners. Uh, when you realize of that, we got eight corners in the cube. As you can see, it's so easy to connect these three holes of spheres in every corner of the cube. So let's continue with the next part of the tutorial.